Hi guys, Liz with Tranquil Packs Dog Training here. I'm always going on and on about Real Dog Box. I'm not sponsored by them. However, they have a referral program. So at the end of this, if you guys decide you wanna give it a try, please follow my unique link because it'll earn me points and it'll earn you points that we can earn towards each other's uh, individual free treats, shoes, and limited boxes, all sorts of cool goodies. So I personally get the treat and the chew box. I like all the options. They send you a new one every month. At any point, you can cancel, put a pause, or just again, have it automatically renew every month. So again, because I get the treat and chew box, I'm gonna show you everything that's in it. Uh, I do also get the super chew. I am really, really uh, avid about getting the super chew because while it's the treat and chew box, again, the, the treat portion of it offers a lot of additional vitamins, minerals, all that good jazz. The chews again offer great ability to clean the tartar off of teeth. A lot of my dogs that were supposed to be scheduled for dental cleanings via the vet, I've canceled those and I've just kept up with these boxes. And I've only been with these boxes for I think two to three months. And I don't feel the need to take them anymore for the dental cleanings. And like I said, this is not a sales pitch. This is legitimate. Greenies are worthless. Those other dental chews that I've seen and I've tried in the past are completely worthless. Maybe if you do it after a dental cleaning consistently, it'll help keep the tartar off. This stuff actually knocks it off and it's very healthy for your dog. So why not just do the best of both worlds? So in the treat and chew box, we have again, everything changes and shifts every month. We have the organ meat of the month. This myth is going to be beef liver. Tasty, dogs go crazy for it. I have a seafood of the month. It's going to be yellow eye rockfish. That's pretty cool, I've never even heard of that before. Love that. The muscle meat is pork, pork loin, my bad, pork loin. And again, they have three different types of chews that come with the regular chew box, not including the super chew. They have a light chew of the month and that's going to be chicken feet. I'll turn these all around too so you guys can actually see how it looks. There is a medium chew of the month which looks super cool and it's pigskin. And then there is a heavy chew of the month and it is a beef trachea. I've done beef trachea before and it's pretty nice. The super chew of the month Let's see here, I think I'm gonna have to go to the cards which I'll show you guys, looks like this. So smaller than normal, but the Super Chew means that it lasts a whole lot longer, especially if you freeze all these. So we'll pop that open here in a second. But let's take a look at these individually. So beef liver, all of this is air dried. It's uh, not cooked or dehydrated, so it's completely safe for your pet to consume. If you had it sit in water and let it rehydrate, it's gonna rehydrate back to its natural raw form. But again, just by the means in which they cook and there's more information on their website, you don't have to worry about catching any sort of contagions or anything from them. This is again, the yellow eye rockfish. This is the pork loin for the chews. Chicken feet. I really like this medium too, the, the pig skin. I'm very excited about this. The beef trachea. And then I'm really excited to see what the super chew of the month is. So let's open this thing up. It's like Christmas every month. My dogs are hearing it and getting excited. It is, ooh, looks like a pizzle chew. So if you guys have ever heard of bully sticks, let me confirm. Yeah, real bull pizzle. So if you've ever heard of a bully stick, this is very similar, but it's gonna be a thicker version of it and higher quality than probably what you can get in the pet store and cheaper. The boxes also come with information cards. So if you wanna read up on what you're feeding on the dogs, to the dogs, you can find that here. There's a breakdown, an image of what everything looks like in its raw form and how you should be feeding it. Let me know if you guys like it.